lights a fire. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. They double team McCollum. On the wing, Jones. Defended by Kaminga. Four on the clock. Jones in the post. Beats the shot clock but can't get it to fall. The shot will not fall. And so, both teams trading buckets as we end the first quarter. Pelicans lead by two. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. And guys, they've done a great job beating their bigs inside. They are just punishing the opposition in the paint. Let's make sure that that selfish nerve doesn't get tapped because right now there's great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. So with Paul on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. In the backcourt, it's Curry and Thompson. Jonathan Kaminga out there with Wiggins, and it's Green in at the five down low. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Wiggins kicks to Kaminga. Williamson with the block. Great job by Williamson. You know, I love watching him dunk, but, man, his block shots are spectacular. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Brandon Ingram's work ethic has made him an all-star. He was in the Pelicans facility so much, they banned him on off days. He said, I hate it, but I use those off days to visualize the game. So what is he like? He says being called out. Players at this level think they're above that. Kevin? Got him. Hey, David, thanks. This Pelican front office has done a great job, Brent. Finding some diamonds in the rough. Players that have now helped. Think about it, Kevin. They Good! Another from three. And his incredible shooting season continues. Oh, up the history charts. He climbs GA. Now tied for third all-time for threes in a season. Absolutely amazing. And he's matched Curry's mark of 354 from 2019. That season, James Harden led the lead with 378. And it's Williamson missing. Golden State's gone one three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Green with a screen for Curry. Back to Green. Kicks it out to Wiggins. And the foul on Larry Hansen. Time out, time out. That is his first foul of the game. Timeout for the Warriors. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their plans, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And yeah, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. We're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. And Kuminga throws it down. It feels like Steph doesn't even have to look. He just knows where his teammates are. Pelicans trail by three. Williamson is screen on Wiggins. Marshall with it. He's against Green. Valanciunas. Shots good. Marshall making the play. Six points for Valanciunas. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success will be... And again for three. The threes just don't stop with him. He's been a machine from beyond the arc ever since the start of the season. Uh, he continues, doesn't he, to shoot his way up the history books and now sits solely by himself for third most threes in a season. Surpassing Steph Curry's mark from 2019. But Curry still holds that top mark of 402 set in 2016. Drains it from beyond the arc. 